Hello everybody, this is my cocktail kit. I'm going to demonstrate how I put this together, how I made it, my inspiration, and so forth. As you can see, I can carry the entire kit on my body, by myself, one trip. First thing I have here, I'm going to set down my hardware, is I have an 18 inch pearl floor tom. This bracket right here is a Gibraltar accessory type bracket. Normally this would connect right here to a uh, cymbal stand or boom stand of some sort. Then there would be four spaces where you could put accessories, whether they're blocks, cowbells, tambourines, splash cymbal, that sort of thing. Is What I did is I made these two bends here on both sides so that the end two accessory brackets would just fit nicely on my floor tom legs. Leaving two spaces open. One here is for uh, I have a block on here now. You could, normally I would have a cowbell, but and then my snare drum will fit on that one. And then I have a little Gibraltar uh, cymbal boom arm, which also fits on this bracket. So on this floor tom leg, I got of course the floor tom leg. I have that bracket and then the, the boom bracket. Now I will keep, continue to explain as I put set this up. Here I have regular. Uh, hi-hat stand and these are the only two pieces that are actually going to fit on the ground would be the hi-hat stand and the floor tom there's no other stands that fit on the ground that, that sit to the ground now when I started playing drums in the mid 80's uh, my first not my my first new kit I bought was it was well it was the same set but it was a nine piece set and it was, I had double bass, uh, like four crash cymbals, a china cymbal, just this enormous kit. And um, since I've gotten older, I've just gone in the other direction. And in fact, this has been a quest for the smallest kit. And I think that I've really succeeded on it. First thing I did was I, I did some research and I found uh, that there are, companies that make cocktail sets but those cocktail sets are you can see here I got my 10 inch tom this set plays like a four piece set I got my 10 inch tom mounted right off of my hi-hat stand and then I've got this uh, PDP uh, popcorn snare type thing cool thing about this is this mount bracket that it has right here which works really nice with with this bracket right here. So I can just slide that on there. And these drums sounds great. I have a, uh, a vintage, a Remo Ambassador vintage head on it, which really, I think, does this uh, snare drum a lot of justice, and I think it sounds great. Um, there's no reason this has to be an accent drum. Th that can be a regular snare drum, and it is. So, those go like that. Now, symbols, and again, when it's, when it's set, the smaller your set is, the less you actually have to break it down. I don't even take that off or this off. I just pull them off and I put them in the bag. This one goes here. Um, usually, I have a tambourine on here also, but I don't have that right now. I put a little splash symbol on the top there. Over here, I have, this is just a Pasty 802 16 inch crash ride. It does a pretty, well I use it as a crash ride, it's actually a crash, but it, it, it plays well. It has a decent bell on it, and it works. Uh, so anyway, going back to, uh, I did some research, and if you've looked around, there are companies that actually make cocktail sets. Well, those cocktail sets, I've tried them, you, they're designed to, to stand up and play. Um, some of them, the main drum is also the snare drum, which you're not going to get a good snare drum sound out of, I've tried. Uh, but I wanted something that was more practical, that I could sit down and play a full set. Those ones that you stand up, you have no use of your hi-hat, and you're balancing on one foot, so it's tiring. Um, I actually have, this is a little first act mini like drum bag, but it works perfect with this little cocktail set. 
so I can get a couple of sticks and I got these nylon brushes that I really like. Now, the last piece of my set here is my bass drum pedal. And as you can see, it kicks up instead of out. Now all you do is you take this apart, you pull the bar out, you flip this piece around, I believe. Just go ahead and take your drum pedal apart. You know, I mean, I didn't, no one taught me how to do it. Now, and I can tell you also, I know from experience, I've done this to a few different pedals. The more expensive your pedal is, the higher end it is, the more difficult it is to switch this around. This one right here is a fairly cheap pedal. I think this was like $60 brand new. Um, and it was fairly easy to flip around. The other one that I had, which was also a pearl pedal, but a, a higher end one, you had to actually take the clip out of the chain. and it was, a, it, it was a little more of a project. But this one is now dedicated to this set, so I don't ever have to change it. Uh, let's go under the drum here. This may seem jerry-rigged. Um, this is a coat hanger that goes from one leg to the other, but it works. I just that keeps it that keeps it from sliding forward, and that's it. Uh, if you go to if you look on YouTube and you type in uh, the Stork Club Band Live which is what my, the name of my band, you can see an actual video. Usually I have a cowbell here, but right now I got this plastic block. You can see it plays like a four-piece drum kit. Um, I put a hole here uh, to try to get more projection and I don't know if that does that or not but it's there now so I can't put it back um, you know the disadvantage is you're not going to get the same boom as you would out of a regular bass drum um, obviously you don't have a huge selection of stuff you know symbols and such but uh, it really you're looking at my, I got a Beanie Baby in there, but that wasn't by design, that just <laughs> sort of happened. But, uh, um, you know, it's nice to, you know, rely on your talent and your ability and the practice with less. Um, it, it really, it uh, motivates your creativeness uh, when you play. So, I've enjoyed that. This is my practice kit. I have another one that I use as my regular sort of kit. But I wouldn't hesitate to use this anytime live um, if it's a real small stage or a short venue where I don't want to haul everything. And my regular kit is a small kit. It's not huge, but it's bigger than this. So this is my cocktail kit.